Hello, I'm David Heiner, professional speaker and trainer. In these short clips, we're going to give you ways of you being able to become a more effective speaker and presenter. Enjoy the clip. Welcome to video number seven. This one's all about body language and stage presence. The, whilst you're learning about body language and stage presence, a great tip is that when you walk on is to face the audience and stand still. Even though inside any nerves or any angst will make you want to pace the floor nervously, stand still. Control your stage area. It shows certainty, confidence and conviction. Then move with purpose. Hold yourself in a way that's upright. If you're making a point, lean forward. Failing that, only move with purpose when there is a point to be made. Apart from that, stand still. Maybe move over that side of the stage, make a point. Then over that side, make a point, and back to the middle again. Each time holding an area, unless you're an absolutely frenetic speaker that's toe-tailing it from one end of the stage to the other forwards and backwards, make sure it's congruent with who you are as a speaker, presenter, or trainer. The next point I want to make about body language and stage presence is that you've got to show them what it is you're telling them. I've mentioned this in previous clips. I'm talking about showing them what it is you're saying with the use of gesture, facial expression and the use of your voice and the whole body language. Make sure the people at the very back of the room know what it is you're saying through your body language as well as the words that you are saying. If you want to connect with the whole room just through use of body language, you can, if you, if you imagine that you're looking out at me now, I'm imagining looking out at you as a large auditorium, maybe with 2,000, 2,500 delegates in the room. Or maybe it's just a small training session with 10 people. Either way, there's a five-star principle, and I wish I knew who I, could, who I should be crediting this to. I've just heard so many people say it, I do not honestly know who first said it, but it's a great thing. So please, if you know who it is, let me know. It's called the five star principle. And there you imagine the room, the delegates as five stars. And you speak to the back star at the back star of the room. And one person thinks they're speaking directly at you, but actually everyone in that quarter of the room thinks you're speaking to them. Then focus for a little bit down here at the front star. And everyone down here thinks you're speaking to them. Then in the middle, then at the back left, then down here. And eventually you get the whole room. You're looking at an area, but people think you're looking directly at them. So use your body language, use your voice, use your facial expression, use tonality, use your stage presence to control and command your message to add greater impact to your presentations. Well, I hope you took something from that, but as ever, the most important thing is application. Knowledge on its own is meaningless. So, what are you, you are going to use from this clip to make your next presentation even more effective? If you're interested in either hiring myself as a professional speaker, or you getting more advice and training on becoming a more effective presenter or speaker, please go to the website at www.davidheiner.com. Thank you.